<laughs> hey guys, it is so early for the holidays, but it is coming straight around the corner and holiday releases are just already starting to come left and right. And I definitely have already been buying holidays, but um, with so many releases coming out, I kind of came up with a anti haul because you don't need everything and this is just my version of the anti haul Christmas so let's just go ahead and dive right into it the first item on the list is going to be the Smashbox uh, drawn in decked out set it comes with a travel size spotlight palette in pearl a full-size cover shot eyeshadow palette in a blaze and a full-size limited edition cover shot eyeshadow palette in sultry um, it also comes with a sticker sheet but I was really not a fan of the Smashbox cover shot palettes so this is definitely something I will be passing on um, the only thing I've really ever purchased for them was their blush palette they came out with last year but um, other than that I haven't really liked any of their eyeshadows so that is a no-go for me but if that is something you are interested in um, as far as I know you can get it at Sephora and it is for $39 uh, we have Becca. I'm not really sure how to say this, so I'm sorry. Um, the a press. <sighs> I totally murdered that. Anyways, it's the Ski Eyeshadow Palette, and you get let's see, six, seven eyeshadows for forty-five dollars. It's a little steep. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. I really do like the packaging. The colors definitely don't scream my name. And for seven shadows for $45, I'd rather just invest in my money in a palette, a full size palette that comes with way more. Um, so that is just a little asking too much. Basically, for me, you're paying for the package for this. So I am not going to be getting that. Um, we have the Benefit Cosmetics City Lights Party Nights. Now in this you get, uh, let's see, you get a Their Real Double Tap the Lip, you get uh, Their Real Mascara in a mini size, you get the Dandy Twinkle um, Highlight mini size, and a Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade 3. Um, a lot of their packages always have shade 3 in them, which that definitely is not my color, so I wouldn't be getting that anyway. Um, but I already have the highlight in the Dandelion uh, Twinkle, so there would be no point in me getting this set. Now I do feel like I've been seeing this for quite some time. I do feel like maybe they're trying to get rid of some of the products. It's not necessarily a holiday, but they are uh, advertising it as this is a holiday set. So, um, okay, we have a Sephora Favorites Glow For It. Now, I do absolutely love the Sephora Favorites boxes. Um, I think they are a great way to try products. I know I've said that on my channel plenty of times before. Um, this one comes, all right, this one comes with a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed in Moonstone, a Benefit Cosmetics High Beam, a Bobbi Brown Mini Shimmer Brick in Bronze, a Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight, a Nude Sticks Nudie All Over the Face Color in Illuminati, <laughs> a Milk Makeup Highlighter in Lit, a Tarte Amazon Clay 12 Hour, 12 hour Highlighter in Exposed. Okay, this is going to be on my anti-haul because for a couple reasons. Number one, I already have the Tarte highlighter. I'm not interested in the Milk highlighter. Um, I'm not interested in the Benefit highlighter or the Cover FX Enhancer Drops. I'm not really one for a liquid highlight. The only reason I would even be interested in this is for the Bobbi Brown uh, Shimmer Brick, but I am not going to buy a kit for one product. Um, if these are something that you definitely don't have in your collection and you are interested in, I do suggest trying it out. Um, it is for $40, but like I said, I'm not going to buy this kit so I can have one item. So that is a pass for me. 
All right, next we have the, doo -doo -doo, the drunk elephant come see about me. Um, now this is skincare and this is expensive skincare. I don't know if you've ever seen how pricey the drunk elephant products are. I'm talking like 80 bucks and the products are like this small. I don't want to like something that is that expensive. I really don't. I, if it works, that's great. I just don't want to spend that much money on a product like that. I, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Um, this comes with a one fluid ounce best jelly cleanser, a 0.5 fluid ounces, a B hydra sensitive hydra, hydration, hydration gel, a one fluid ounce C firma day serum, and a 0.0, a 0.5 Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense SPF 30. Okay, these samples are small, and like I said, the brand is expensive. So I'm not gonna purchase this. I don't wanna be interested in anything that expensive. $88 for this kit, $88, that's a lot of money. I will pass. Okay, so as we all know, Tarte has come out with a lot of holiday products. I am a big fan of Tarte. I've actually already bought some of their holiday products. I'll get into that in another video, but I'm not going to get everything, obviously. So there are definitely some things on my list that I do want to say. Um, they have the uh, Buried Treasure eyeshadow palette for $36. The Goddess Glow highlighter. It's a huge highlighter for $35. Now I did swatch this highlighter. It is absolutely beautiful. It is huge. Okay, and I do not want to spend $35 on one highlighter. Yes, it is going to last you a long time, but I like options. I'm the kind of girl that's like, hmm, what highlighter am I going to wear today? I don't want to be stuck with one highlighter because I need to get rid of it because it is so big. Okay, so that's not why, that's why I'm not getting that. The limited edition Mermaid Kisses lipstick set for $23. The Lip Luxuries Deluxe Lip Sculpture Set for $34. The Metallic Treat Glitter Liner Set for $29. Um, the Pout Pleasure Lip Set. Now this is a full size lip set for $42. The Be Happy, Be Bright, Be You. Um, I think this is a kit uh, for $38. Um, if I'm not mistaken, and if I can find the picture, I'll definitely insert it right here. We have the limited edition lip bling top coat um, for $20. So it looks like a top coat gloss and it's just basically a bling top. I don't know why companies are doing that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give a lip, I'm gonna sell a lip gloss that's more expensive because we blinged it out just a little bit. Please. Um, the Spice Up Your Stare eyeliner set for $35. Um, and then they did also come out with two of the uh, magnet palettes in order for you to customize um, your blushes or your eyeshadows. Um, so quite a few items, a um, couple things I did get, like I said, I will talk about that in a different video. Um, but, but, but most of this I'm just really not interested in. Um, the Mermaid Kisses lipstick set, it's really tiny, I'm not really interested in the colors. Um, I already talked about the highlighter. The Treasure Eyeshadow Palette, I'm not really interested in. Yes, the design is kind of cool, but I just don't think that it's absolutely practical when you go to do eyeshadows. Um, the Glitter Liner, um, I have actually haven't heard really good things about their Glitter Liners. I haven't tried them personally, but I'm not ready to at this time. Next is Marc Jacobs Beauty. You have the Wild Ones eyeshadow for $99. Um, now, this eyeshadow palette I actually saw during the VIB Rouge sale. And first of all, animal print is not holiday. Oh my gosh, I am so disappointed by the packaging that he chose to go with. It's not it's not Christmassy, it's not classic, it's just not interesting. Um, I, I, in my personal opinion, I actually think it's kind of tacky, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, the colors are okay, that's nothing that we haven't seen before. Um, I did swatch it in store, they felt really, really soft. I was actually kind of excited, and then when I went to go swatch the shadows, 
they actually did not swatch very good. Now, I know that it has nothing to do with how they work on the eyes, but for $99, I am not willing to take that chance and find out how good it works. Sorry, that's not gonna happen. Yes, there was one color, it was like in the bottom, second to left, um, that I actually did kind of like, but I'm not going to buy a $99 palette for one shadow for shadows that might not even work on the eyes because they don't swatch well. I'm just, with the packaging I'm not happy with, that is just a solid pass for me. Um, he's also coming out with the Lipstick Jungle. You get 13 lipsticks. Are they full size? It doesn't say if it's full size or minis, but the shit's $250. <laughs> yeah, they better be full size. I don't care if it is 13. <laughs> Once again, this um, or animal print. The zebra is actually even better than the cheetah, um, but it's tack it's tacky packaging. Um, I'm not gonna spend two hundred and fifty dollars on lip products. I'm sorry, that is just outrageous to me. Um, he also has the Snake Charmer lip gloss set. Now I have tried his lip gloss sets before, and I did quite enjoy them. Um, but I'm just I don't know. I have plenty of his lip gloss sets still left that I have to get through so I'm not going to be purchasing that. He also has is what's going to call a night owl set for $32. It looks like you get a um, mascara full size, a mini highlighter eye crayon, and a mini magic uh, liquid eyeliner. The packaging on that is actually even worse. It has the zebra print and the cheetah print. And that just looks absolutely tacky. I'm not going to, if I want the Marc Jacobs um, mascara, I'm just gonna go get it. I don't need a kit to buy that. All right, so let's move on from this because it's kind of irritating me. Um, the packaging was just poorly picked on that. I am highly disappointed, highly disappointed because I actually, I missed out on Marc Jacobs um, eyeshadow last year and it's kind of a regret of mine. I heard about how great it was, the packaging was beautiful, and this is just a solid disappointment. I just look at it and I'm just like, ugh. Anyways, all right, next we have the Laura Mercier L'Amour Exotic Face Illuminate, Illuminator Collection for $58. I did swatch these in store. I think they're beautiful. I love the way they felt. The colors are really nice. Um, but they are kind of small and for $58 that's just something I can't afford um, so I'm going to pass on that and we're just gonna leave that short and sweet all right so Too Faced is coming out with a whole bunch of different holiday pieces and there's just some pieces that I'm definitely am not even going to bother looking at um, one of them being the unicorn survival kit you guys know how I feel about the unicorns it's done it's dead let's get over it move on no mermaids no unicorns no rainbows just something else please so I mean in that you looks like you get a bronzer a crazy colored lipstick I'm just not into it it has unicorns I'm unicorn dead I'm done <laughs> um, you have the white chocolate bar which a lot of people are were not liking the colors that's just kind of on the fence for me it doesn't it doesn't scream my name so we also have the Too Faced Chocolate Vault. This comes with the Bon Bon palette, the Semi Sweet palette, it comes with the chocolate bar, the mini chocolate bar, the white chocolate chip, three melted mats, and all three bronzers, the light, the medium, and the dark. This is overkill. You do not need a vault. Unless you absolutely want all those palettes and the price is gonna be worth it to get those palettes like this, you don't need all three bronzers. Not all of those are gonna suit your skin tone. You um. You just don't need it. This is just a ploy for you to spend more money. Um, you know, I don't know if it would be worth it if you don't have any of the palettes you were, that you were interested in to buy this kit. I can't say because I don't know how much it's going to be. I just know it's probably going to be a ridiculous amount. It's probably going to be over $200. And I, I, I can barely catch my breath at the thought of spending $200 um, on one item. I don't care if it comes with all that stuff. It's stuff that doesn't even, not all of it I can use. If I'm gonna spend $200, it's gonna be, everything in that kit better be something I can use or something I need or something I don't have. Just saying. That is just outrageous. These big ass kits, 
you don't need them. <laughs> you don't need them. <sighs> all right, we have the Stila Star Studded Eight Stay All Day Liquid Lip Set for forty-five dollars. Um, I've actually never tried a Stila lipstick. I'm not really interested. The colors don't scream my name. Um, it looks like a lot of light purples in the picture. Um, maybe two reds and a couple pinks but these are just really not my colors so i'm definitely going to be passing on that all right we have the cover fx custom enhancer drop sets like i said i'm not a liquid highlighter person this is for 42 dollars this is just not something i am interested in at all so that is why i'm passing on this um, we also have Pat McGrath Labs Lux Trance Lipsticks for $38. He came out with three new shades. $38 for one lipstick is a little pricey for me. Um, the colors, it's something we, that we've seen before. There's nothing special about it. So with the color being nothing special, I'm going to pass. I'm not willing to spend $38 on a lipstick. On my lips today, I have um, Maybelline's, what is it? Where my lipstick go? Where did my lipstick go? Oh. All right. So on my, I mean, on my lips today, I have Maybelline's Toasted Truffle, and I think this color is beautiful. Um, and this is like what, seven bucks, if that. Um, so I'm definitely not gonna spend thirty-eight. $20 on the uh, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea because they feel amazing, but not $38. That's that's too rich for my blood. Uh, we have the Milk Makeup Holographic Powder Quad uh, for $49. Um, number one, I, the colors are like crazy. They're like this ice blue. None of the colors I'm interested in as a highlighter. I'm not interested in Milk Makeup products. Um, and I just think it's a little overpriced. We have the Sephora Favorites Superstars. So once again, I do say if you haven't tried any of these products and you are interested in trying these products, um, this is definitely gonna be a kit for you. Um, but it has, looks like the Makeup Forever Setting Powder, the Urban Decay Spray. It looks like it has a um, Too uh, Faced Lipstick, NARS Lipstick, um, it has a Hula Bronzer, a Smashbox Primer, a Kat Von D Locket Powder. Um, it looks like it has a couple of mascaras and eyeliners and it has a beauty blender. I do think it is a good set if you haven't tried any of that. A lot of this I have tried, so that is definitely why I'm going to be passing. I've tried the Hula Bronzer. I've tried the Smashbox. I've tried um, the Lights Camera Lashes. I actually... Um, own plenty um, so that is definitely why I'm not going to be buying this there's no point since I already own most of it all right so last on the list we have the Urban Decay little liquid vice lipstick set um, it is for $28 you do get four different colors now I do not like the way um, Urban Decay liquid lipsticks feel I just don't I I think they're very gritty and they just feel terrible on my lips. I do have a couple sample sizes and I just don't like them. I don't use them. Um, I actually need to get rid of them. So I definitely would not be purchasing this set. I do like their regular lipsticks, but as far as liquid lipsticks go, I am not a fan. I am not a fan. So I definitely have to pass on this. So that is it for this holiday anti-haul. I know there's probably gonna be so many more releases, so I would not be surprised if I do a Christmas anti-haul too. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, we'll just leave it at uh, this for my anti-list. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram and I will have that link down below as well. You guys have a great night and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.